guys, Flamey Teeny here. Today I'm going to be doing something I have never done before, but has been widely requested. That's right, team building video. Uh, I decided I wanted to start team building with Sun and Moon. I'm also learning the meta, you guys are learning the meta, and I think this is a good way to discuss how teams are kind of developing right now. To be quite frank, a lot of them are developing around Aegislash, Pheromosa, uh, Oh, yeah, pretty much Aegis Slash and Pheromos, so to be completely honest, those two, I think, largely shape how a lot of teams function nowadays. I mean, there are a lot of top tier threats you really need to be prepared for, and I feel like that leads to a certain um, style of teams, depending, like, offenses tend to have certain things, defensive teams tend to have certain things, but yeah. Anyway, since Pheromosa is so iconic, but it's also probably going to get banned, I did want to try to build a Pheromosa team, so we're going to slap that in there. And the biggest counter to Pheromosa is Aegislash. Pheromosa just absolutely cannot touch it. And there are other counters to Pheromosa as well, Mantine being a notable one, Toxapex also being notable. And because all those mods, well, mainly because of Aegislash, I really wanted to pair this thing with Hoopa. Hoopa can take advantage of all of those mods, and especially Aegislash, because Hyperspace Fury just goes right through King Shield, and it just it is, it's really nice to have a wall breaker that comes in on U-turn on all these bulky mons. Because I also want to take advantage of Toxapex, I'm going to be using Zen Headbutt. And since at this point I'm going, like, I don't want to go life orb, I want to keep my HP. So I'm going to be running a band set, and I'm just going to go with Drain Punch and Gunk Shot for the coverage. And let's make this max speed. Yup. Ooh, that's defense. All right, so we've got Hoopa. Now, after Hoopa, I just I noticed something. Okay, this is mainly because I use Scarf Dugtrio, but I noticed that like um, if I if I was to try to use this team to break teams with like Mantine plus Dugtrio or something like that, the Dugtrio could cause a big problem. In, in general, like I don't know. I wanted I wanted an Elec immune. I wanted a ground immune. So we're gonna be using Landorus, and I actually really really like the RP set. So we're gonna go with that. Um, but we'll decide the moves later. But I am gonna be using a Rock Polish set, which does actually um, 301 is just enough to outspeed Scarf Modest Feromosa, which is just absolutely amazing. So <laughs> anyway, we got Landorus. Now here I realized I definitely needed a steal of some sorts. I needed my own defensive utility. You look at Feromosa, the thing's gonna completely smash through my team at the moment. So Aegislash, like there's no avoiding it. I've tried so many times to avoid using Aegislash on my teams and I just can't. I'm not really sure what set I want to use at this point. So I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. Now Right here, I was thinking, um, like, a water type would be good, a fairy would be good. I also noticed, like, status could be annoying. And, like, again, Mantine, Toxapex, I feel like they're only taken advantage of by Hoopa, and some Hoopa is prone to trapping, pursuit trapping, uh, arena traps, so I decided to go with Tapu Fini. Uh, Tapu Fini is actually really, really good with a Calm Mind set. Um, Calm Mind, I think, sets Tapu Fini, like, really, it sets it apart, is like, really, really good. Because with Misty Surger blocking that status, it can set up all over Mantine. Even if Mantine has Haze, you can PP stall the Roosts. You can set up all over Toxapex while the Misty Surge lasts, as long as they also don't have Haze. Um, like, there are some downsides, you can't touch Ferrothorn at all, Haze mods obviously are annoying, but by completely blocking status, you really support yourself and your opponent, uh, and your teammates, that's what I meant to say. Um, and this thing is really, really fat, so it's really helpful alongside Aegislash to check certain things. Probably the biggest one being Zygarde. Zygarde just is such a huge, huge threat, and... Tapu Fini helps a lot with handling that side guard because it can take a plus 1000 arrows and just ice beam it back into oblivion. So I actually do want to run some speed on this. Um, I don't actually remember why I chose to go with this much speed. I honestly probably don't need to hit 242, but I guess outspeeding Adam and Bisharp just is useful. And I still have a lot of bulk from this, like, awesome base 115 defense base 130 spdf decent pretty good base 70 hp like passable pretty passable and yeah this thing is a really really good mon like 
it's really good. Anyway, for the last one, I need a rocker since I want to use Rock Polish Lando Eye. Lando, Rock Polish Lando Eye is such a big threat. I just didn't want to miss out on that. Rocks is pretty good too, but Rock Polish is amazing. So I eventually decided to go with Garchomp. Garchomp can give me a nice like lead to start breaking the opponent's team. Um, get up Rocks, SD, Swords Dance. EQ, Dragon Claw, and just dish out a ton of damage, and I feel like Chomp in general, just this Ash lead, is pretty good in this metagame. It just feels like it seems to work a lot. It helps out with like Aegislash and stuff like that, like just pushing through steals, forcing in Landos, stuff like that. Just getting off damage and getting up that rocks is just what I, what I need, So while also having a lot of good offensive threatens, uh, threatening presence. So yeah. Now that we have this, I need to decide my moves on Lando. I have Feromosa set as well, which I have not decided. Actually, looking at the team, see, see how it's so slow? I'm actually going to go with Scarf Feromosa. You may think, what the heck? Why are people using Scarf on a spawn with base 151 speed? Scarf Feromosa is legitimately quite good because you just, you really just revenge kill everything. <laughs> like. Plus one Zygarde, if it lacks E-Speed, it's dead to Ice Beam. Like, well, actually, if it's Zygarde complete, it'll live in Ice Beam, which is ridiculous. <coughs> that mod has to go. But, Scarf Feromosa is really good. I actually played several yesterday, and literally every single time I led with Feromosa versus Feromosa, I lost the speed tie and just got taken out. It was sad, but I'm going to be using a specially base set, and I can just change that to this. There we go, and and make this this by making this um what is it called rash nature? You actually make your special attacks at higher than speed, so that way when you kill something with scarf, you get a plus one special attack boost, and that can even lead to sweeps. And you just outspeed like so much, you revenge kill so much, and you're already just so strong. The scarf Pheromos is just really really good. Um, we got this. Considering how many fairies there are in this metagame, I'm going to be using Sludge Wave and like especially Tapu Bulu and stuff like that, I want to hit those and seeing how, how Celesteela seems to be a pretty big annoyance to me, uh, I'm going to use Focus Blast uh, on this last slot. As for Aegislash, huh, see, <coughs> I'm kind of... Huh. See, I'm I'm probably most unsure on this set. I actually noticed that Leech Seed is really, really annoying to me. Like a Mantine Ferroth, Mantine plus um, Ferrothorn Core is going to be really, really annoying to break. If they also have some way to deal with Hoopa, and Chomp will most likely go down in early game because Tapu Fidi is my way way to break bulky teams alongside Hoopa and Lando and. Ferrothorn plus Mantine handles both Lando and Tapu Fini. So I'm actually gonna go with Subtoxic Aegislash. It just I feel like it kind of dismantles like like I feel like not pe many people are using this set right now and it kind of just dismantles a lot of bulky builds if they can't like if they like Heatran and Celesteela are obviously like Celesteela actually takes a lot from Shadow Ball. Well even if it's max Bedef it's actually not taking that much. But um Oh man, I just don't want to play Celesteela. If I do, I just have to use Hoopa and just break through that. But um, yeah, I do want to use Subtoxic. Um, I need enough speed to outrun base seventy, so that should be good. When I run near max HP, and let's make this a little more for creep, and I can just dump the rest in Special Attack and minus Attack. There we go. So. This is actually looking pretty good. I feel pretty good about this team. Yeah, Feromosa plus Hoopa break in Lando by sweep and Aegislash just beating everything. Tapu Fini smashing through bulky teams and Garchomp getting up those rocks and putting some work with that SD uh, dual stab. So we're gonna get a game and see how well this team works out. <laughs> Hopefully it does the work that I'm expecting it to do. Because this time I'm use I am using the broken mods, I'm hoping it'll do well. My opponent's got 
in a lowland duck show thank god it's not a regular duck show because that's just so much better um he's got a palo sand t-tar and oh my god i'm so weak to scissor i mean yeah i'm weak to scissor one of the changes you can do with Age of slash is make it max special attack so that we can actually break scissor but the way I do it, I just spam Shadow Ball and hope for drops. But um, I think Tapu Fini has a lot of potential to sweep this guy. I really do. Um, well, actually, I, mean, I need some damage on Venom Moongus. Anyway, I'm going to lead off with my Chomp, as he does lead off with his Tyranitar. Um, I'm just going to get up Rock. Screw it. I mean, if he wants to stay in and people seem like, go ahead. I'll just get up my Rocks. And he does just go into his Amoongus. Um... Oh, oh my god, I, I have to do this. I'm gonna go into my Tapu Fini to get up the Misty Surge, and then I'm gonna go into my Hoopa. Oh god, please work, please work. Holy shit. <laughs> Tapu Fini is amazing. Holy crap. Um, I'm actually not gonna go into my Hoopa because of that stupid T Tar. So, I'll go into my Aegis Slash. This will give me a free sub. Nice and hot. Oh my god. See, this is why Tapu Fini is amazing. Misty Surge is such a nice ability. It's so useful. It it legitimately is just so useful. And he leaves. We're going to claim that victory and move on to the next game. If he doesn't come back in like 10 seconds or something. I don't think he will. Let's just move on to the next one. Tapu Fini carrying the team on its back. Oh my god. Uh, my opponent's got his own... Oh fuck, there's a Celesteela. Oh man, I don't want to deal with that. Uh, he looks really weak to Age of Slash though. But I guess Celesteela does counter input. Uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll find a way out. So he does lead off with his Garchomp. I'm just going to get out my rocks. He's probably going to get up his as well. Um, there's D-Claw. I think he's Dragon. Yeah, that's definitely bulky damage. Yeah, that's Helmet. And he does dag Dragon to me out. He's going to take some more damage himself. And takes me into my Hoopa. I'll just Hyperspace Fury and take that thing out. The good thing is, um, well, he has two fairies. I need to get rid of those. He does go into his Feromosa. Um, I'll just go into my Aegis Slash. As he does just U turn, takes that life orb damage. This guy loses. Nice and powerful. And he goes into his Celesteela. Okay. Um. I'll throw off one Shadow Ball. Oh, frick, I'm faster. Shit. He does Leech Seed. Okay, okay. Oh, and knowing I'm faster is actually useful, because I can block Leech Seed, but I do think a Flamethrower will be coming my way, so I'll go into Tapu Fini. See what I can do as he does double Seeds. Oh, man, this... Oh, my God, I fucking hate Celesteela. This one is such a pain in the ass. As he does this heavy slam, I can go into my Hoopa. <sighs> and fire off a Hyperspace Fury. As he stays... Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I'll take that any day. Please protect, please protect. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that was definitely a big mistake on his end to take that Hyperspace Fury to the face. If he protects this Hyperspace Fury, is just going to go right through it. And smack this thing. These things usually run Heavy Slam, Flamethrower, Leech Seed, Protect. Really, really annoying to deal with, to be quite frank, as he does just go straight into his Primarina. Okay, holy fuck! Holy shit, I need to calc that. Oh my god. They don't have... This calc does not have Hyperspace Fury for whatever reason. So, Choice Band versus Primarina. And holy shit, that's just gonna kill. That's insane. Holy man, I was not expecting that. Primarina is fat. I guess it's a lot more fat on the special defensive side. Uh, Tapu Koko definitely looking like a threat right now. That's probably one of the. Actually, Tapu Koko is just so good nowadays. But um, he does go into his Feromosa. I'm just gonna go back into my Aegis Slash. And he does just U turn again. I mean, this is just fine. <laughs> Just absolutely fine. He does go to his Tapu Koko. I'm gonna King Shield to get off um, a little more health. As he hidden powers, I'm willing to take. I don't want to take uh, an Electric Terrain move, especially if he Volt. Oh, he's Choice Locked. Interesting. So, yeah, I've seen both Choice Locked and Life Orb. So, 
he does go back into his Tapu Koko. If he is choice locked, this is just perfectly fine for me. I can scout out his move. I'm just gaining my health back. And he hidden powers again, so I'm just gonna sub. Oh, it's HP fire. Interesting. Interesting. So I'll King Shield right there, and then I'll just Shadow Ball. As, oh, I guess it's HP Fire for Ferrothorn. But I guess it makes sense because he also has a Pre Marina, which is well by that. And holy shit, that just takes it out. I honestly was not expecting that. And we saw that my Aegis Slash is faster than Celesteela, so he just forfeits. Nice and powerful. This team is rolling through. Oh my god, and we're only at 15 minutes. So my opponent's got, oh, freaking Manaphy plus Psyguard. <sighs> Gonna have to be really careful about that. Um, he looks pretty weak to Chomp, actually. He does lead off with this Fortress. Uh, I'm just gonna straight SD. Start putting in some damage as he just rocks. I'm just gonna straight EQ. His Volt Switch won't work on me. Holy shit! He just gets up spikes. Okay, so... I'm gonna get on my rocks. That way, if he tries to spin, uh, my rocks stay up. Oh, he, he has Cust Tap. He explodes. Okay, so I guess... I guess that works. Um, definitely though those hazards are annoying, but we can they, I can manage with them. I can manage. He does go into his Genesect, indicating it's most likely Scarf. He does get a special attack boost too. Um, but honestly, I don't have a lot of use for this Chomp other than getting a free switch. And Genesect is just so versatile. I don't want to switch into it. Genesect. Oh, nice. That's a wonderful. Holy shit. Yeah, something's taking a big fat EQ to the face. Holy crap. As it's the Zygarde, that's wonderful. He's gonna get his complete form and just like gain a ton of HP, but um At least this way, if he has E-speed, I force it right now, and his Zygarde is gonna be low as he does just E-speed right there. Um Holy fuck, why does the RP Lando just destroy him? Absolutely destroy him. Um, I'm really worried about that Manaphy. That Manaphy is a big fat threat. I need to count this as Zygarde complete. Oh man, does this really not have Zygarde stats? Uh, what are Zygarde stats? We need to count this. Zygarde. Zygarde complete. Let's see, base 216, 121, 95. 216, 121, 95, all right, Lando. I, Earth Power, holy, that's doing absolutely nothing. Holy smokes, so I think I'm kind of forced into Tapu Fini. Um, how much does Tapu Fini do to Manaphy? Because that is Z, that's most likely Z Rain Dance Manaphy. And I need to make sure I can 2 KO that thing. Uh, that looks like a 2 a KO after rocks, let's just make sure. Yeah, that's looking a pretty... pretty. I do have Scar Pheromosa to uh, revenge that, so that's good. He does actually go straight into his Manaphy. And I get a special attack drop, and... Oh, yeah. Um... See, I don't think Zygarde Complete's really gonna get a chance to set up on much. Other than Aegis Slash, I guess. I think I can afford to take this damage. I mean, if I switch, I'm gonna have to take hazards anyway. He actually goes into his Tapu Koko on my second Moonblast. Takes that nice and hot hit to the face. Um, fuck it, I'll go with Aegis Slash. If he goes Zygarde, it's just gonna be dangerous, but he does just T-Bolt. Um, need King Shield. Oh shit, he went straight into Zygarde, fuck. Um, oh my god, try to shadow ball and see what happens, but, um, oh, he's coiled, that did absolutely nothing, what the hell, at least I know he's coiled, but, Okay, he just had a thousand arrows, so I can go into my Lando and Earth Power. That Spadef drop saved my life. Why is this thing so fat? Holy smokes. Zygarde Complete is just so broke. It, it really, really is broke. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm just getting overrun by Genesect. 
Uh, oh, nice, nice. I got to keep my Lando's health. This is key. That's key. I need my health on Lando. As he does just go straight into Genesect, I'm gonna go straight into Tapu Fini. I need him to do something that'll give me an RP and then I can win. As he does just U-turn. Probably gonna go into his Tapu Coco. As he does indeed. What do I wanna do here? I'm gonna go into my, I wanna let my Hoopa go. I think that's the only way. Maybe Feromoso is better, but um, I do actually live that, so I guess I'm Swish Initiative 2, which is nice, um, but Hoopa was definitely looking good, but it's that Scarf Genesect, ugh. I need to keep my Tapu Fini plus Lando around to try to force some sort of setup versus that thing, as he's just gonna go into it so he can get U-turn into whatever he wants to, I mean, he's kind of forced into this, unless he wants to go to Aegislash Slash and Shadow Sneak. He actually Ice Beams, which means I can go into my Tapu Fini right here. And I'll just call mind. I think I can afford to do that. I don't know, I may have to try to set up on that Age of Slash with Lando, we'll see. Or it might become a 50 50. Because Scarf Feromosa can also actually know he has E speed with Psyguard complete. Psyguard versus Feromosa. I don't know how E speed is just such a strong priority, so. Oh, I do actually live that. Actually, Ice Beams for whatever reason, so. If he sacks this, I'm completely. Oh, nice, nice. I'll take this. Yeah, I'll take this. Please just hit. Please. Because once AG is down, then my Feromosa can win. He probably is not expecting a Scarf Feromosa. But that is what I am, so... Nice, we hit that, and he doesn't even sneak us. This is perfect. Tapu Fini itself might just win this game. We'll see. It might come down to Focus Blast hitting if he's able to break through this, though, and... I, I kind of really doubt it, though, but um, we'll see, we'll see. Tapu Fini carrying the team on its back. Good god. Man, the Zygarde complete just... This thing is just such a beast. It really is. Taking 20% from that Shadow Ball is just nuts. Absolutely nuts. This is probably the Sub Coil set too, which I think is really, really good. But, um... I'm actually gonna try to pair this with, um... I'm actually gonna build with this team, this guy next. I really wanna try Zygarde before it gets banned. Um, but I, so yeah, this is gonna be my next build. Probably gonna pair it with uh, Z Memento. Yeah, I think Z Memento is a good way to pair it with something. So we'll just see how that goes. He has E Speed, not even doing enough to put that thing in range of Genesect I Beam. So it may just be that he's forced to T Bolt and then Lando can take this. Um, I just Moonblast for the consistent damage so I can put it in range of Buzz. He just E speeds. Oh, he does have E speed. Scarf E speed. What the fuck is Scarf E speed? Just Earth Power and take this guy out. As, yeah, that does absolutely nothing. Not even a crit would have killed. And we take that out and we get that win. Nice and 3 0. Oh, I think we have time to get one more game. So we're gonna do that. Um, and yeah, this team is putting in the work. Tapu Fini definitely holding the team together. We got Rain, nice and powerful. Nice, they've got a Polyrath too, which is hardwalled by my Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini is actually just so good, Jesus. It beats Kingdra too. <laughs> and Age of Slash tends to be really important in this Rain matchup. It's also good versus that Magirna. Um, Tang Growth, Tapu, Co Tapu Coco is always annoying. That thing pisses me off. Um, Tapu Koko is really good. Its speed is just really what sets it apart. And Electric Terrain is the only reason it's strong enough to really survive with the special set. Even though they made this, they made its attack stat higher. I just don't get it. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave with Chomp and get up my rocks. Now we can put some more pressure on this Pelipper, which does have Drizzle now, which is pretty neat actually. Uh, U-turn, Hurricane, Scald, Roost, pretty nice. 
as a range setter, really bulky too, but you can also eat, apparently Specs Hydro Pump to a K with Rotom in range, so yeah, Pelipper I think has some interesting utility and main teams might find a resurgence. A lot of them are using Tapu Koko as well. Tapu Koko is pretty cool. And this guy's got a Magirna as well. Magirna can run both Specs and I've seen Shift Gear as well for that speed. The thing about shift gear is that Aegis Slash just walls it to the end of time, but um, I think it has a lot of potential. Especially, all the thing about it is that it's still like base 60 plus 2, it's still not that super fast. So, anyway, I want to start the timer on this guy. He's taken way too long to click Scald. Way too long to click Scald. I think Tapu Fini has a lot of potential versus him, especially if I get rid of that Tapu Coco. Taco Coco is a big threat. I definitely need to be careful with my AG and my Finny. I think Feramosa can... Um, oh yeah, another thing about Pelipper is that it actually beats Feramosa, which is useful, I guess. Koopa can definitely put in work if I get it in when I... Like, if I get it in on the slower mods. Like, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm hoping to put in some work with... Really, Tapu Finny and AG. I think Lando might be, even be able to sweep, actually. Actually, Lando, yeah, does have the potential to sweep. I don't think it'll ever get a chance to rock polish, but it, it can just... He doesn't have good switch-ins at all, so Lando, I can also destroy him. This guy's taken way too long. <sighs> I want to get another game. Screw it. You guys are going to watch two at once. Nice and powerful. Feromosa, I haven't even used Feromosa in any of these games. This is there, chilling. Feromosa's just chilling. Doesn't even need to be brought out. My opponent's got a nice hot Mantine stall, it seems. Look at uh fuck fuck Sableye though. The way I deal oh he forfeits, nice. Yeah, he just loses to Tapu Fini. <laughs> Tapu Fini literally just destroys the fuck out of him. And he also does not have a dark resist. So yeah, that thing, that game was looking pretty um pretty bleak for my opponent. The other thing you can do with Sabli to sleep Tapu Fini, then go chomp. Just SD. It's, it's nice and powerful. Really nice and powerful. Anyway, my opponent's got a Toxapex, Cartana, Genesect, AG, Magirna, three steals. Nice and powerful. Lando, obviously, you, you, the team is incomplete without Lando. Um, yeah, um, I really want to lead with Tapu Fini. As he leads with Magirna, uh, I really want to predict a Volt, too. Because Aegis Slash is just so obvious, so I'm going to do it. Uh, if it doesn't work, whatever, I'll just get out my rocks. I do have my Sash. This guy is, seems like he's going to time out. As he just flash cannons, okay. I'll get out my rocks. I don't know if he'd want to risk um, getting EQ'd, as he does not. I do not think he did. So, um... This thing, I want to SD and then declaw it. I want to get some damage on this thing, and he does just get up his rocks, which I was expecting. Getting damage on this thing just helps with my Lando, it helps with my Hoopa. And he actually knocks off right there and takes some more damage, which is just perfect. So, um, I actually just. I want to go into Hoopa and Hyperspace Fury. I should be faster than this. If I'm slower, this is going to be the biggest derp uh, ever. And I'm just going to get completely destroyed. But hopefully this works. I didn't want to go to Tapu Fini because Misty Tran runs out the next turn, which means he can just go to Toxapex. Um, Toxapex is annoying. The way I'm going to try to deal with T-Spikes is with Misty Surge. Really, that's the best way to deal with Toxapex. I don't know if I get poisoned if I break through um, Baneful Bunker. Which is its signature move. He does actually go to his Magirna. I'll just go into my AG. AG just does a lot to his team, but we'll see. He floor cannon straight. Holy, that's definitely specs. Definitely. Um, I'm expecting a Toxapex right here. Like, uh, let's be honest. Um, see, so yeah, I want to go and pull a switch into my. Oh fuck! I just hope it's a really, really slow Magirna. Okay, it was a really slow Magirna, so I get in my Lando on this, and he has no more ground immunes, which means this earth power is just gonna fucking destroy him. Heck, I might even be able to earth rock polish and sweep, but um... 
Oh, nice and powerful. He does try to stay in, and I just knock that thing out. That's perfect. Now his AG switch in is just garbage, so... He does go into his Genesect right there. Um, I must go into my Tapu Fini. Really takes on anything from Genesect other than T-Bolt. And if he doesn't U-turn, I mean, if he U-turns, that Cortana is going to get annoying, but... He does his flamethrower and I take that nice and powerful. I'm just gonna moonblast as he forfeits nice. So I think that's enough games for now. We actually ran through a, a lot of people in just 30 minutes, even with building the team. So yeah, I hope that live was interesting to you guys. <laughs> this kind of offense actually works really, really well. And I love Tapu Fini. It's just, I love it. It's so good. and. Lando Eye is also just amazing, Hoopa amazing, Aegislash amazing, I mean Feromosa broken, I literally didn't even use it, like, I didn't even have to use it, but it's definitely important on this team, I feel, I don't know, it can definitely have a lot of use, and yeah, that's gonna be the live, um, hope you guys enjoyed, I'll be back with more team building very shortly, and yeah, if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, please, uh, I wanna try to get some more activity on my channel, and yeah, I'll see you guys later.